there's something weird lurking in my backyard. Every now and then underneath rocks, I see these strangest looking creatures ever. Wait till you see them, they're, they're really weird. What I'm looking for today is an ornate harvestman. These are really strange arachnids in the order of pillions, but they look like absolutely nothing you've ever seen. All right, what I'm essentially doing out here is I'm flipping rocks. Because these crazy looking arachnids will tend to hide underneath harder surfaces. I don't usually see them under logs or wood. I see them underneath bricks and rocks the most. Oh, there's one. It's right here. He is on the move, trying to escape. They do not like the light. Let me get him on my hand. Here, buddy. Nope. Come here. All right. That is exactly what we're looking for. What I've got right here might be the strangest looking arachnid you can find without venturing into the Amazon rainforest. These guys look so bizarre, like a mixture between a crab and a spider. But what's crazy is they're neither. This is an ornate harvestman. It's actually more closely related to those daddy long legs that you see outside your house sometimes. But these guys, these guys do not like to lurk outside of little crevices most of the time. This is an almost entirely subterranean animal. And as a result of that, he is fleeing the light right now. These guys can't actually see. Their eyes aren't designed to make images. They just kind of differentiate from light and dark. And he can tell it's very bright for him right now. And that is stressing him out. Those middle two longer legs are splayed out, probing my whole hands. And what those actually are, they're modified legs that he's gonna be using as antennae. Those are what he actually uses to interact with his environment. And he can tell he is in the light and he is walking around on some kind of large animal. They don't look as round as your typical harvestman. These guys have more of a of a pear shape and they have that that winged that winged abdomen and all their little segmentation so it almost looks like there's some kind of alien landing craft. Like it's such a weird looking creature. Even its legs have that weird mangled appearance. And, and if you've seen like a dead spider before, they kind of curl up. You might flip one of these underneath a board or a rock or something and you'll think, oh, that's, that's probably dead. They'll usually drop motionless to the ground when you flip them. They don't usually scurry away like this guy did. And those mangled looking legs make them look like they're actually dead. But what it actually helps them do is fold into compact shapes in the environments they typically inhabit. They're gonna be underneath rocks, underneath boards, living in between tight spaces where they hunt for insects and other little invertebrates. Most harvestmen are usually scavengers. They kind of eat whatever they can get. And it's primarily gonna be dead and decaying stuff. But these guys, these guys are predators. Now you might be wondering, Spencer, if this guy's a predator, can it bite? Let's actually test that real quick. I'm gonna grab him. Let's see. Now, now like other harvestmen, he does have little pincher-like mouth parts, but he's not even doing anything with those. And the only thing he is doing is he's oozing liquid from in between his front legs. And my guess is that's some kind of chemical defense. Now, it doesn't smell like anything to me, but to some invertebrate predators that might be hunting him in the environment where he lives, like centipedes and some spiders, that might be really, really irritant or really, really bad smelling and it might ward off things like like those animals. But to me, I don't, it doesn't have an effect. I've seen harvestmen actually do that before, oozing liquid when they're under stress. But this guy doesn't seem to be too perturbed by this encounter. Now that I'm looking at him, he almost looks kind of like a long-legged tick or something. They're really, really a bizarre looking creature. The way they walk and move is almost more like a tick. And what's interesting is they're actually more closely related to mites and scorpions than they are to spiders. And technically, ticks are a form of parasitic mite, which is something you may have not known. Look at that creature. Absolutely insane. Definitely something to keep an eye out for next time you're flipping rocks and logs in the woods. If you think this little guy is cool, check out this video right here where I found probably the coolest subterranean creature I've ever seen. A blue bark centipede. I think you'll really enjoy it. But until then, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.